Hello everyone, today we are going to make a third person controller using visual scripting with Bolt in Unity and this is the first part of our tutorial series in which we are setting up our animator and move our collector so without wasting any time, let's begin. Here in the editor I just dropped in the player and made a camera a child of a player so I made a plane to act as the ground, some post processing and direction lights and have all animations ready but in this part we are going to start with basic animations like idle, walk, strafe right and left so all of these animations were downloaded from mixam.com the link is given in the description or you can download the project file link is given below so when that is done let's create a new animator controller double click to open it in the animator window right click create from new brain tree double click to open it select brain tree and add five motion fields then on brain type select 2d freeform direction after that rename the perimeter and add a new float perimeter named input y back to our brain tree parameters in position y switch to input y after that it's time for adding our animations in motion fields with brain tree selected drag the breathing idle in first field walk again walk because we are going to reverse that strip right and left so for idle leave it to zero in all positions walk forward position y 2.5 for walk backwards in y 2 negative 0.5 reversed negative 1 Strafe right to 0.5 in x positions and left to negative 0.5 x so let's test and see how it works with the blend tree selected press play and start moving the values if you have no missing animation it's great that means the blend tree is working correct select player and check root motion add component collector controller set y to 1 radius 0.3 and height to 1.95 then drop the controller to to the animator in the controller field then play he's playing the eye animation With the player selected let's write the values directly to see how it works that's doing great the animator is working fine so now let's move a player by visual scripting using bolt so basically you want to move a player by pressing wsa and d keys on our keyboard to import bolt in your project you can get it from asset store or go to window package manager search bolt download it when that is done go to the inspector add component bolt flow macro new select your scripts folder and rename movement then press edit graph let's maximize so let's start by making two scene variables horizontal type to float and vertical type to float then in the graph right click and search for get axis select input get axis axis name duplicate and in the one right right horizontal vertical for the lower one then alt alt select and drag horizontal to the graph that gives us set variable and and do the same with the horizontal after that drag the float value from vertical axis to vertical input and do the same with the horizontal so basically what we want is when we press wsa and d keys they give float values so the value is given by horizontal and vertical axis to set the variables but we want it to run every frame so drag the flow from the update event then release search for sequence which multiplies the flow then drag the flows 
to the set variables so then select and drag the horizontal without pressing out that gives the variable do the same for the vertical add a unit called create vector 3 x y z then connect the values from horizontal to x and vertical to z then normalize and multiply by 1 in case if you want to increase this in speed then multiply the value to the b input then get the local rotation to a after that add a unit called collector control simple move connect the output to speed then drag the two flows from set variable to controller so let's test it out and see great the player is now moving so this is the end of the first part so don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe see you in the next part where we'll move our player with all his animations and rotations don't miss it bye <laughs>